tell me your funniest moment from making the movie? Oh, there's so many. God, we had a lot of fun making this film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really did. Yeah, um, they were mostly at my expense. Yes. But, I, <laughs> but you know, a moment I do like that is rooted True. in truth is where Shalto uh, goes to inject me oh um, with a, a microchip. And I have a fear of needles, and so the screaming you hear is embarrassing. Real. <laughs> embarrassing, embarrassing and comes from a real place. Did you have to redo the squeal in different ways, different squeals each time? Um, we actually did, we, which was awful because Nash kept on saying, no, actually, actually jab it into his. I was like, Nash, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so yes, we did it more times than I was comfortable with. I will, I will give you that. It's a bit of physical violence to make it real. I was subjected to so much physical violence between rolling around in cars, being injected. Mm -hmm. by, you know, being punched, gun yeah. whipped. Oh, it's yeah. exhausting just thinking about it. I don't want to give anything away, but I get some interesting mail. We shot a scene where I get some interesting mail that oh, might yes. contain a body part oh, in yes. it. Oh, and uh, I was super impressed by, um, yeah. I w for a second I thought that uh, it was an actual body part. Appendage. Yeah, and I definitely had a couple of reactions where Nash was like, that's too big. And I was like, have you seen this thing? Have you seen it? You need to take a look at this. I'm worried. So I've got to ask, you say some quite sexually explicit stuff. Did you stay in character for that? I had a rough time. Like, the, I mean, the first three days were, were, were hard for me. I found myself just, you know, profusely apologizing consistently to everybody around me and then crying my sleep, myself to sleep at night. I mean, there's some really despicable, this woman has a real bad case of verbal diarrhea and ignorance and narcissism and, and then I finally, and then I just went, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, there came a point where she was just enjoying herself. Well, I, I realized that it was really good for the film when we kind of went to that extreme place, especially yeah. for yeah. your character to Big kind of time. see what the stakes that, we, what you were up against. Big time. Yeah, yeah, there were moments in the film where, again, you know, what I was getting, that sort of look of <laughs> complete shock. That was based on what you were giving me. It's funny, you still have that look though. So, <laughs> Every so time perplexed I'm with you. By it. Yeah. it was a hard film to shoot, and we did a, quite a lot of night stuff. And one morning, like 3 30 in the morning, we were chasing. It's, it's kind of a scene with my character and David's character towards the end of the film. It's a critical scene in the film, and we're really struggling with it. Like, it, we were just trying to get it right. And, we just kept uh, we just kept playing with different ideas and found a really fun kind of changed the whole shape of the scene and it's it's probably one of my favorite scenes uh, in the film. It's kind of David gets on his knees and starts like uh, a, a praying and like asking God to help him and like some crazy stuff that just wasn't planned in the script. And so that's one that really sticks with me. Like there's nothing better than a feeling to be struggling and then land a, a beautiful moment like that. There's so many moments with David playing Harold, you know, doing his Nigerian prayer or being afraid of needles. Getting to watch Charlize and my brother be despicable you know, together was really fun. So you were both involved a bit with shootout scenes. Was there anything that kind of went wrong there? Was everything perfect as it should be? Oh, no, those things just jam up. It's always, you know, it's amazing we even get those things done. They're long, very long and flipping cars and that's, you know, um, no. Nothing goes as smooth as you think it does, uh, but you know we just we just keep get through it. You know, I had a couple of days to shoot that. When I'm uh, you know doing any kind of action for a film, I usually go in and rehearse it uh, with the stunt team and shoot it on a video camera and plan it out. And I want to know where it's going to go and what moments I want to cover. And uh, so yeah, I have some semblance of planning, and then you know, and then other ideas happen on the day, and so I kind of. You know, build it that way. And do the guns always like work properly, like shooting blanks? No, oh, all kinds of things don't work when you're making a movie. You know, you're, uh, so, you know, sometimes the guns work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes the cars work, sometimes they don't. You know, I think just the nature of filmmaking, there's always sort of, uh, you know, accidents that happen. And, you know, sometimes they're happy accidents that turn the story a certain way that you, you weren't planning. And a big car flip. Yeah. How long did that take for you to like, how many times did you retake that? We did it a couple of times, you know, we had, I had an idea of how I wanted to do it and we tested it and then, you know, first time I think on set it didn't work the first time and then it did the second time. And... 